Don't mind me. Just in my living room dancing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so if you want to know what I do every day, I just dance in my house to African music. <laughs> this time last year, I was in Africa Burn. Oh, I was in Cape Town on my way to Africa Burn. And it got canceled, which is fine, because then I came to Copenhagen. Um, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about how to create your emotional reality. And this is something that I feel super strongly about. I talk a lot to my clients. I do coaching, if you guys don't know. I talk to a lot of my clients about abundance and mindset and all of these things. But some things that people don't realize is your emotions affect every single part of your reality. And if you're into astrology at all, you'll like this note that I am double Scorpio. So I have a lot of emotions. And I think in the past they would really hold me back from doing all the big things I wanted to do in the world. And now I'm able to what we call transmute your emotions and use them for good. So like change something that could be negative and trans transmute or transfer or recreate it into positive energy or positive action. And um, a major way that I do this is what I call flow days. So a big reason why I wanted to make this video is because people keep asking me, like, what are these flow days you're always talking about? So oh my God, I'm so sweaty. I've just been dancing <laughs> for like 15 minutes. It's fine. Um, flow days are what I, um, me and Andy, my boyfriend, uh, kind of made up together. I'm sure other people do this and they call it different things. But basically, you wake up in the morning, you can choose or choose not to partake in a microdose of maybe some psychedelics, and then just a tiny microdose. And then the point of the day is to follow wherever your heart desires. So literally just flow with the entire day. And this was a really interesting concept for me Sorry for the chickens in the background. This was a really interesting concept for me because so much of my early childhood and programming um, in my religion, in startup culture in California, and just like my own personal A-type controlling personality was to just do. Like we are programmed in society that if you, I think it's because a lot of people are just like, you know, rats in a cage, like getting up, going to work, and and that's what I did for six years in a law firm. And then in order to break that programming, you have to just go out and do a lot of things in the world. So I did that for five years. I like had so many startups. I traveled to over 50 countries. I just went all over the place. And I was always doing, doing, doing. And even like in between, I never even took space like on the train or in the airplane. I was like working the entire time. I used to have an Instagram feed um, where I just dedicated to all the crazy things, places that I had worked and all the things that I had got done like as if it was accomplishments and people said, wow, you did a lot and that's awesome. So I was rewarded for that programming. And then last year when COVID hit, I had what I would call uh, a burnout. Uh, some people would call it a spiritual awakening as Brene Brown likes to call it. Um, but I basically just like couldn't work. I, I got dengue fever here in, on the island. You get it from mosquitoes. It's really bad, it causes depression. I got in a, I had a breakup with an ex-partner. I had a really bad scooter accident. And so I was just like really in a low space emotionally and my emotional reality was this sucks and I don't like this. And my response to that emotional reality was I need to do more, I need to get another client. And so I got another client and I was working like 12 hour days during like full, full lockdown in like March and April, May and everyone else was kind of taking time off or freaking out in different ways and I was just like waking up so tired already because I was ill and I was just like working, working, working. And then I just hit this point where I just couldn't do it anymore. I like lost all drive and, and yeah, I had some really amazing people in my life, Heather and Richard, who were kind of like godparents to me. And they got on a phone call with me and they said, Brittany, when was the last time you took a break? And I said, I don't remember. Um, ever since I was 18, I was going to school full time, I was going to university at nighttime and working in a law firm during the day full time. So like since I was 18, 
I, everything I've ever had in my life I've earned myself and worked for and thought I had to work really hard for it. Like that was also part of my reality was that emotionally it had to be kind of suffering in order to get money and all of these things. And I don't agree with that anymore. And so he, and I think my body didn't agree with that anymore last year. It was just like, we're done with whatever you were doing before. Um, and so I talked to Richard and Heather and they were like, why don't you just take a break? And then I started doing these flow days and my type A personality is like, I think the camera is off a little bit, whatever. Um, so these flow days are amazing because it helps you break that programming of having to do things in order to have an okay emotional reality. Um, and so, yeah, I started doing them and they were amazing. Like I would wake up and I'd just like take a little microdose of acid or whatever I was feeling that day and go just go swimming in the ocean, always start in nature for me and go running and then I would journal and then I would just be like, hey, where do I wanna go? And I, I challenge you, uh, if you wanna gamify this, this is a game, you get extra points if you do that and then you sit with yourself and you literally try and listen, not for the monkey mind that says, these are the accomplishment things you need to do today or these are the nagging things that you haven't done yet, but for the intuition, which is like more of the heart space down here. And ask your heart, what do you actually want to do? And this might sound super foo-foo and cheesy, and my past business, legal, analytical brain would have, would have been like, that, that's stupid. Um, but I was kind of broken at this point, and I was ready to try a lot of new things. And so um, I did that, and it really helped. So what I would, and I would just, and sometimes it'd be little things, like, okay, it's time to go to smoothie. And I would just feel called, like, my intuition would be like, go get a smoothie here. And maybe it was on like a different side of town than I would normally go. And then I would always run into people that I would have these really amazing conversations. And because I wasn't in a rush and because I had created a lot of space in my day, I could just flow with whatever happened. So sometimes I would run into someone and then we would just be like, oh, we haven't seen each other in a while, let's catch up. So we'd sit and have a talk. And then while we're sitting there, someone else that I kind of know that, that I'm wanting to hang out with would walk in and they would say, hey, do you want to go snorkeling? And I'm like, yes, of course I want to go snorkeling. So then we go snorkeling and then I would end up over here and then I'd meet someone else. And, and then sometimes my flow day would be, I don't want to talk to anyone today. And that's my flow. And I would have a whole adventure day by myself. And I would smile at people and like have little interactions with people along the way, but I would keep my energy for myself the whole day. And that was also really beautiful. And the way that this affects your emotional reality is that you kind of get to like step outside of the, I have to check everything off my list in order to feel good enough today in your emotional reality to, I'm starting off my day as everything is already great and everything's already perfect. And let's just see how we can even add more to this abundance. So it kind of gives your like, your on a, like a nervous system, like your stimulation system, it gives it your nervous system a rest for one day. And we have to think about like how much we overstimulate ourselves with social media, with work, with traffic, with COVID, with everything that we have going on, like all the things we really care about and for good reason. So I'm not invalidating any of those. But what I'm saying is that your nervous system needs a break every once in a while. And it needs to wake up and not have to fight that day for whatever, to feel good enough, to feel loved, to feel worthy, to take rest. And so it's a really beautiful thing to build these flow days in and to kind of reprogram your brain that you are good enough whether you do anything at all that day, you're good enough when you start, before you even start. And for those of you whose monkey brain right now, monkey brain means like the brain that's always running in your head, like you need to do this, you need to do that. That is telling you this is stupid because that's just you being lazy. I will tell you that I also had that feeling at once. And now I realize that when I give myself that space to rest and when I tell myself I'm good enough before I have to do anything and I'm just good enough just being myself and I can have that whole day to myself celebrating that, then you actually are more mo motivated to go out and do all the things. And that was one thing that I found last year when I took this, I took a rest month. I took an entire fucking month where I just didn't have to do anything. And week one, my whole, my whole body was freaking out and like telling me I wasn't good enough and going through all of those emotional things. Week two, I just rested so much. I like slept a lot. My body was just like, 
decompressing in a lot of ways, mostly emotional, but it all comes out physically as well. So I took a lot of time doing that. And then on week three, I just finally started having fun. And I started like leaning into it and like finding the joy in it. And I was like, wow, what the heck am I doing my whole life? Like, why was I running on that other programming? Because they say it usually takes three weeks, three days, and three months to reprogram yourself. And then by the end of week three, going into week four, I'd give myself a whole month. I already had like two more business ideas that I was working on. And I was like excited and I felt rejuvenated and I, and I didn't feel like work anymore. And this is when I started my Women's Circle Masterminds last year. Where I was helping empower women in business to start the business and meet other women and have this worldwide network. And it was just like this really fun project. I didn't even view it as a business and it took off like crazy and it was like so heart centered also like I felt like it was coming from something deep inside that I really cared about and because of that it just blossomed like I wasn't fighting it in any way so that's my little story about flow days um, yeah I do them about once a week I try to uh, sometimes a whole week will go by and I'm like working on things I really care about and I forget to do a flow day and then that's fine because then I can just be like oh I forgot to do a flow day let's do one tomorrow um, it's also interesting to have a lot of friends come to the island right now from all over Thailand and friends are coming in from outside of Thailand. If you don't know this yet, they just announced that you, if you have the vaccine, you only need to quarantine for seven days. So that's yay. So a lot of new people are coming in to Thailand. And it's interesting to talk to the people on the outside of the island that haven't like kind of caught up to the energy here of us like being in more in flow state. Cause they're like, what are you doing tomorrow? And like, can I block out a time on your schedule? This and that. And I, I noticed this this week that I really, I have my morning routines and I have my things that I need to get done during the day, but I don't schedule them as much, unless it's a call or something. I don't schedule them as much as I did before. And this is like something that's really refreshing for me nowadays because I realized how much over scheduling was causing a lot of anxiety. Like, and how I did, this is a weird catch 22, is I actually did more if I scheduled less. So just think about that one. So this is someone who cares about you guys a lot. And I just sh love sharing these videos because these are like little things that come in my head. And if I've talked to like five people about it already, then I'm like, oh, I need to make a video about this because it probably is going to help more people. So let me know if you have questions and let me know if you do a flow day. I'm just going to be over here dancing in my house um, <laughs> and doing all the fun things that I do at home. Okay. Brittany Bond reporting live from my living room. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.